Hey there fam, I really have to make this quick. Welcome back to all of my faves and welcome to anyone who are new here. My name is Gloria, also known as Life of Glory B. I'm an over 50 content creator who loves everything related to health, beauty, lifestyle, travel, but especially fashion. I am here to debunk the myth that after a certain age, like maybe after 40, after 50, that women are supposed to dress differently, that they're supposed to stop doing certain things. Basically, you start to live a slow, sedentary, boring life. Not the vibe. That is not what we subscribe to here. So we are about living life to our fullest, living and loving life to our fullest. I believe every day is a new day to create beautiful experiences. If you're new here, leave some information about yourself. I love to know where you're from, if where you reside, like I'm from Barbados but reside in New York. So just let me know a little bit about yourself and let's get to know each other in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I've got to make this one quick because my battery is about to die. The sun is already going down and it's like four, something after four. We know how it gets during the fall and the winter. Very little sunlight. Shawty saw my wallet, now she think a nigga handsome Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer No, I can never trick on a bitch Less the bitch is my bitch with a kiss on my lips Like, uh, I am not a pimp with a limp I'm a man with a gift and I'm doing my shit Like, uh, tell them other niggas I'm the nigga I'm the man in the city and my bank account bigger And my body count bigger, that's without a doubt, nigga I'm a hundred steps ahead, that's a lot of mouth, nigga That's a lot of clout, nigga What you all about, nigga? What your dollar mouth, nigga? You a boy stout, nigga I'm a big dog, tell the truth, 5 to 5, 4 to 5, fitting like a Mordecai I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45 Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize Perpetuating war, tell that nigga he gon' pick a side Hood ties from hood life, now niggas doing dope lines Don't run into the cops, that's a bitch, nigga exercise huh. Don't run into the cops, that's the motto I don't see it coming to an end like Legato Niggas get chipped like Cicado Send a wave through the hood, now I'm sounding like Verado why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to die shows before it landing on tomato. Singing all my sorrows on Apollo. I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was Pottos. Mm. America ain't dreaming, it been scheming. When the birth of a nation came from black niggas seeming. Uh, we all know it's black nigga genius. Everybody love the culture, they be black by convenience. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my nigga. You talking way too much. With this video, like I promised from the last one, I'll be showing you some things that I got from a vintage store called the L Train Vintage. Now, L Train Vintage is, I think they have like two locations here in Brooklyn. They may even have more than that, but those are the two that I'm aware of. I was shocked. I've been shopping vintage stores a lot, and I find that most of the ones that I've been going to are a lot more expensive. So, L Train is where I'll be heading from now on. I hope that I can find other vintage stores that are as reasonable as L Train. But everything that I got there was under was ten dollars and under i could not believe i came up with a bag of goods for 55 dollars <laughs> yes if i sound slightly different maybe i don't it's because i'm now currently wearing finally my retainers it took so long for those who've been with me for a while you already know that i was supposed to be getting retainer well they're not invisalign the brand is called moto but it's like invisalign so i'm currently wearing them and they to me make me talk a little different like my t's and my s's to me sound a little weird so got that out of the way <laughs> now let's move on to the pieces in today's video i'm not just showing you the pieces that i got from l train i have a few other things that i got in from a black home brand that i'll also share with you at the end of the video fan the sun is leaving me <laughs> anyway we're gonna get this done today so let's start with this pants this pants is from the men's section really really love how this fit I got this for six dollars like I could not believe it L train is the place to be okay as L train is a vibe six bucks for this this beautifully tailored pants I mean if you're looking for something that's tailored check them in section their pants their blazers their shirts that's the place to be 
what I love most about this pants is that it has pleats at the front. That is something that I look for now when I'm purchasing a pants. If I'm looking for any pair of slacks, they have to have some type of pleating in the front because it gives it a more relaxed fit through the leg and through the bottom, which is what I prefer. I like that it comes in tapered at the bottom and it already had a fold in the hem. I need to take in the waist just a little bit. So I wore a bag strap, which is a, a gold bag strap. I wore that with it to cinch in the waist just a little bit. It has these knife slit pockets in the back. I really love this. This is kind of like a, a chino style, but with pleats at the front. This jacket did not come with that pants, but they match almost perfectly. I absolutely love this. I really love the gold hardware, guys. It has like a, almost like a military feel to it because of those gold buttons. So good. Perfect structure in the shoulders, not too thick of um, shoulder pad. It just is really well made. There's a slit in the back. I am obsessed with this. That is going to be worn to work. It's going to be doing everything. I paired this with a white tank top and I think my gold heels. Now those gold heels are from Amazon. It's another brand that makes those same shoes. And these are like the dupes of those shoes. I'll put the name on, on the screen because guys, Brain Frog is real and I am hella rushing right now. <laughs> Alright, next piece is a top. This chainmail top. It was $10. So this was one of the higher priced pieces. And I really like how it fits. But unfortunately, <laughs> the hook came off while I was moving around. This is after I tried it on for you guys. I also wore it with the same pants that I just showed you guys. I really like how it fits. It just like kind of hangs on me. It doesn't fit too snug but for some reason when I was moving around it just the, the, um, the hook just came off of the top. But for ten dollars I'm not mad. I really am not mad at it. So the next two pieces very very similar they're both button down denim shirts and the from the men's section again oh i forgot to tell you the price of the blazer the blazer was ten dollars okay can you believe it <laughs> listen i felt like a kid i was the happiest person coming out of there like i just went to the candy store and got a bag full of candy listen nothing pleases me more than when i get shit for a deal okay I feel like we all feel that way. I got these two shirts. This one is from H&M. This button-up shirt is also from the men's section. This was $6. Both of them were $6. I was looking for a black button-down um, denim shirt for a while. And though this is kind of like a charcoal instead of a black, it works. For, it served the purpose. I'm not quite sure what size this is, but it's definitely very oversized, which is what I wanted. So with this, I wore a black jeans that very much matches this color. So it's that dark charcoal -y color. That jeans has like some cutouts on the side and both legs. I got that from Manier Duvor. I love that brand. They have some really edgy pieces, very trendy pieces as well. I think it's French, a French brand. And the shipping from that brand is not bad at all. I think I get my things like within seven days or something and I've had that since last year for last fall or winter I like how it went with this they looked like they're meant to be together and I paired them with a little tank top that I've had for a very long time I threw on my new favorite heels you guys know the ones the white pumps that I got from Saks office with the silver toe Guys, that, those shoes just go with everything. I wore them out actually the other night. I went to celebrate a friend's birthday. We went out to dinner. And I ended up wearing that with one of my Zara tops. The blackless one with the buckles. Yeah, I wore that and my black four leather jeans from H&M. I thought that that just worked. <laughs> it was a vibe. That look was just perfect, y'all. And again, finished up the look by wearing my silver bag, which is a very, very vintage piece. I got that from at Etsy. It came from... India. It's full metal. It's complete metal. If you knock it, it's, it's very hard. So it's well crafted. I love that as well. Now, 
<laughs> this is Resort Spa Casino, Las Vegas. Okay, so I don't know if someone that worked there, this was their uniform, but I love it. Again, also $6. I love that it's the dark, dark denim blue. Really, really love it. I could literally do the most with this because it's super big and I can already think of a ton of ways that I can style this. I decided to just go with all denim again. I mean, why not? It's, it's forever a vibe. And yes, I wore the white shoes again. <laughs> Y'all gonna get tired of seeing me in them shoes. I'm gonna keep wearing them because I love them. They also paired very well with that. I went with my H&M Times Lee jeans that I upcycled. The one that I added that extra fabric so it kind of looks like the horseshoe kind of shape. I get tons of questions every time I wear that jeans, guys. But yeah, those went really well together. I have this blue denim choker necklace that I got from Evolve a long time ago that I literally forgot about. I was doing some cleaning up recently and I found it and I'm like, oh my god, really? I've had this thing since the beginning of summer and I never wore it because I completely forgot that I had it. But love how that all tied in together with the whole full denim look. That was a vibe. Now the final piece that I picked up from the vintage store is this beautiful faux fur coat. I love the length of this. I do love a very long coat but you will realize that this year shorter pieces are in. You're either going short or you're going very long. I find that that mid, that mid length is not really a vibe. Extra long or short. The in between, yeah. Not so much. So it's when I saw that this was only ten dollars. I cannot believe it. I had to like what? In no way. So you know I had to bring her home with me. I love her. She's gonna be worn over and over and over again this winter. I'm not looking forward to the winter, guys. I'm actually over it and it hasn't come as yet, but Having great pieces like these to style makes me a little bit more excited to get in dress and going out. When it's super, super cold, it's not. Summer and fall and spring, yeah, but winter, she could go so far. <laughs> I, don't, I do not need her in my life. All right, so that is it for all of the pieces from L Train Vintage, guys. So guys, I want to introduce you to a small business. This brand is also black owned, so I really want for you guys to go check them out. They create luxe pieces, okay? Quality, I mean, exceptional quality. And the fit, oh, I got a set and a jumper from them that I absolutely love. So let's start with the jumper first of all. Now it's this navy blue, which is very, very, very much on trend right now. So we're seeing a lot of blues especially navy and what I love about this is that you can wear this right now for the fall and you can also wear this in the spring the summer the s winter like you can just this is this is all year around this jumper so I plan on wearing this for a vacation or something I love it so much love it so I will show you in the cutaway how I styled it for the brand. They sent me over these. I work with the brand. So they sent me over this and the other set. And I wanted to show the versatility of this set. For some people who may not think outside of the box. So you'll see that I styled it with not just by itself. But I also styled it with a top. And I tucked the top in and left the flat of the front to hang down. It almost looked like I'm wearing like an apron style pants. That's actually such a vibe, guys. I love it like that. So next is this beautiful white set, which is definitely for a tropical vacation, guys. Well, for right now, unless you're living in the tropics already. So if you're already in a nice, warm climate, guys, this is for you. I love the way the pants is. So it has this very defined waist okay I got mine in a medium but I feel like I could have gone into a, a small so it fits me a little bit more snug but I don't mind I can adjust this I love love the way this fits so it's supposed to really snatch you in out of the waist and then when it gets to the hips it just flares out and my favorite detail about this is the slit on the left 
thigh okay super sexy but still very covered up the top I wore it in a few ways as well as you can see I would I would have worn it both in front where I tied it in front and I wore it tied in the back guys I want to have different options for when I wear things I don't ever want to just style a thing the way it came if I can see a way that I can change up the look of it I'm doing it really love both of these sets I don't even know which is I, I feel like the, the romper is my favorite the jumper for some reason but I can see myself definitely wearing these with two different um uh, like a different bottom a different top and it would be a vibe as well one more thing that came to then i might as well show you this pants reminds me of the, the other pants that i just showed you guys from l train vintage that i paid six dollars for but i paid thirty dollars for this one it was actually like half price or something like that so the original price of this pants God, I on. the original price of this pants was 69 dollars. now this is from urban outfitters I really love this color guys the blue is just like the perfect like cobalt type blue it just yeah it's it's good I would love to find a blazer to match this but for now I can wear this with like an off-white or a cream blazer or something I could probably even wear it with a black blazer but I haven't styled it as yet and if I find the time before I edit this video you guys are going to see how I style it up so you see it do have like the same type of pleating that the other pants has only difference is that this, this these legs are a little bit wider and I haven't tried it on yet but guys it looks like it's gonna fit me really good um, I'm counting on it so if I do style it up you'll see it in the cutaway how I style it and I'll probably list out leave on the screen the pieces that I'm wearing with it fam I believe that is all actually I'll share one more thing with you guys I'm working anytime I work with a brand and I like them if I share it on Instagram I want to share it with you guys here as well so there's a brand that I'm currently working with that I'll probably be in um, posting for them very very soon so I figure I might as well tell you guys about it the brand is called Montel Intimates they create all types of different intimate intimate wear bras underwears chemise uh, like you know yeah sleepwear <laughs> sexy time wear yeah they made all of those types of, of pieces but they are a sustainable brand who cater for people who have larger boobs so if you or someone who need like support like proper support and a good fitting bra I would tell you please check them out you are not going to be disappointed I got two bras from them and they fit perfect in fact I have one on right now this was part what I'm wearing currently is was part of the filming for that brand I absolutely love the way they fit there's no digging into my skin there's no extra gapping okay let's let that siren go anyway yes so there's no extra gaping like around the strap area no boob spillage very very well fitting bras I am so happy that I have these right now I'm always looking for good fitting bras all right because most of mine they, they be like they, they just have it wrong and I don't know where I ended before but my card was full I knew it was full I know it was getting there but I was pushing the limits I was hoping that <laughs> I was hoping that I could just film without it cutting off anyhow like like I was saying made very very well I promise you you would not be disappointed if you tried them out they actually got me to measure myself in a way that they would know what my perfect bra size was and they said I am either a 32 triple D or a 32F and they sent me 32F and guys these things fit me <laughs> F yeah I, I mean I was wearing the wrong bra all the time I thought it was a double D I thought it was like 32 double D or something but outside of that their bras are just made so well they don't have this extra thick thick padding it's just a thin amount of padding and it just gives you the right amount of coverage like love them okay I'm gonna show you guys in a cutaway what they look like on and obviously you guys can see what it looked like right now but i'll show you guys in the cutaway so yeah that's it i'm just wearing the express jeans this crew neck top from h&m this is like a 
uh, fall and winter staple for me. I like these. I, in fact, I wish they would get, get some more like these because they're perfect. The sleeves aren't too long, so I like to layer. Well, I prefer to layer because sometimes if I get overly hot, I guess it just can't take it. So I prefer something with a shorter sleeve or a very light fabric. And this is light and breathable. I've had these for like two or three years. Did I say H? &M? Actually, no, I got these from Target, guys. These are from Target. Oops, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, love them. All right, I think that's it, guys. By the way, sis hurt herself really bad. See my finger, guys? So I've not been putting anything on my nails recently because I slammed the card on my finger, well, about a week ago. <sighs> I didn't realize how hard it had slammed until I pulled my finger out. I think I'm going to lose the nail, guys. Have that ever happened to any of you? Have you ever slammed your finger into something like a door? <sighs> okay, not recommended. Please do not try this at home. <laughs> Fam, I forgot to mention a few things when I was recording the voiceover, but I had already pre-recorded these pieces that I meant to show you. So here are some earrings by Ronnie B. I love these earrings. She sent these over. Black horns, small business. I would love, love, love for you to check them out. I promise you if you love fun accessories, you're going to find something that you love there. Fam, I also mentioned in my previous video that I wanted some cowboy inspired boots. These are by Nine West and I got them via DSW. Really love these. This is suede. They are comfortable. The heels, I just, I think that most cowboy boots are very, very comfortable. So the heels are never too high, but they give you enough height to make the style a little bit more elevated. Both boots were very affordable. If you enjoyed this video, and even if you didn't, give this video a thumbs up, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Love you all so, so much. See you guys soon. Bye for now.